In this video, we will briefly go through the Scene tab of the Properties panel. These are settings that will help set up your scene, or in other words, your 3D world in Blender. So the Scene settings shows you the actual active camera that will be used when rendering. So when you hit that Render button, which camera to use, because you, as you know in Blender you can have multiple cameras, and you need to let Blender know which is your active camera. The units, this basically allows you to define the units of your 3D world. So is your world in centimeters, which would be pretty small, or in meters, which is pretty big, or uh, miles, um, uh, we don't have kilometers. Oh, we have kilometers. This allows you to create even large, large, really large scale scenes. This is, and this is important because it can affect other stuff like if you have depth of field in your camera or this pretty much sets up the scale for your scene. Uh, length, you can choose to use a metric. That's what I'm used to using. Angles, if you if you like using radians, use that. Or degrees, use that. I'm more familiar with degrees, so I stick with that. Uh, keying sets, you don't need to know about. Color management, uh, well, it's, it's, it's sort of an advanced effect used to create uh, nice looking uh, colors in your uh, final animation. So you can change things like the exposure, the gamma of your animation. Again, you can do this in Photoshop and GIMP. Audio, you can control the volume of the audio that's in your scene. Um, and other stuff like whether it's stereo, 5.1 surround, 7.1 surround, the bit rate and if you're an audio junkie then you might understand what all this stuff mean I don't so I'm going to skip that gravity uh, this basically sets the gravity of your 3d world so earth's gravity is about 9.81 meters per second squared actually it isn't it's minus 9.81 meters per second squared so that means it's actually gravity is going on the downward direction on the Z so this is the gravity on the x-axis, gravity on the y-axis, gravity on the z-axis. And if you know a bit of physics, you'll know that 9.81 meters per second squared is the gravity on, well, planet Earth. So if you have um, a scene where you want to play around with a bit of physics, like a ball bouncing or colliding or whatever, then it will obey that gravity uh, according to Earth's standard. So that's pretty handy. If you're shooting a space scene, you would obviously put zero. Or if you have your own alien world, you can put like 5.32, well, you know, 10 point or 15.6, I don't know, whatever. Um, rigid body world used for physics. Custom properties, don't touch, not, not even needed. Uh, simplify, basically what this means is if you have tons of 3D objects that are high in polygon, highly detailed, really smooth looking, uh, you will find that your viewport is slow and clunky to work with as it uses up a lot of CPU just to uh, show those, just to keep those objects in view. So by pressing simplify, we can uh, turn down the subdivision to zero and that will remove all that smoothness and the detail of all those 3D objects and you'll find that the viewport moves around a lot smoother. So that's basically what the simplify is used for. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the scene tab. Next up, we will look at the world settings.